Another win for Big Tobacco and another loss for freedom in the land of the free. Recently, the FDA, FDA just ordered Jules to be taken off the market. I myself don't vape. If you do, I back you. That's your, all, that's your own decision. And in my mind, what they're doing is completely wrong. Um, if it all offers you a safer alternative, you should be able to buy it. If it is safer and it is a way for you to get off of smoking, you should be able to you know, buy that. That is your own choice. But as we see corruption in America, it runs rampant throughout everything. Another win for Big Tobacco. As they say, all oh, were for healthy choices, yet they're going to push you back to smoking cigarettes and other nicotine products that are even unhealthier than vaping is. And whenever you look at this, it's just a, it's complete bullshit on my, in my eyes. You no, know, we look at it, we're land of the free, but yet they want to take away your freedoms on things that uh, shouldn't be really like any one's concern if you want to use a vape to quit smoking or even in your free time go for it and it's just ridiculous they're gonna say oh they're marketed to children or whatever but then you have to make the argument that a lot of stuff that's adult for adult consumption is marketed to children whether that's flavored alcohol um that kind of stuff even like certain games that kind of portray gambling it's just, it's um, it's ridiculous in my eyes. It's whenever you're saying, now I, I get on the belief like, all right, we're taking it off because it's unsafe. But under this, it is not anywhere close to that. They're just doing it because, you know, Big Tobacco paid them pretty much. Whenever you look at it, all this is going to do is push vaping products onto the so-called black market. People are going to buy it from untrustworthy places because vaping has become bigger since it's, you know, introduced to the market. And it's just going to make situation worse for them. Essentially, you're going to have people go back to smoking cigarettes. Some may quit, yes, or some are just going to go to different products that are, you know, still either owned by Big Tobacco or it's just going to be, like I said, black market stuff that's unsafe. As long as they continue to, you know, push this stuff off the shelves. But it also says a lot that they, now I know this is, might be controversial or whatever, but they trust you. They say you are responsible enough to own a gun at 18, but you can't smoke a fucking cigarette. You have to wait till you're 21. What, what is the logic behind that? You're able to serve at 18, you're able to drive a car at 16, but yet you can't smoke a fucking cigarette or vape until you're 21. Why? What, make everything 21, make everything 18, It just make it so it's logical and makes sense. And don't take away people's freedoms, make it as safe as possible to use so that you know the consumer is being protected. Not just force them onto markets that people don't like and we're trying to get off of, which is what they are doing effectively by trying to ban vape products. Now you look at it, we'll see FDA orders Juul e-cigs and vaping products to be taken off the market in the U.S. At one time, Juul's shares of the vaping product or vaping market was seventy-five percent. All right, good. That's not going to play. I don't think. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration announced Thursday it is taking Juul Labs e-cigs and other products off the market. It comes after the Federal Health Agency completed a nearly two-year review of the manufacturer's application to sell its vaping device and tobacco and menthol-flavored pods. Ultimately, the FDA decided to block Juul's application. Other products like Views have already been, you know, approved. Today's action is further prog progress on the FDA's commitment to ensuring that all e-cigarette and electronic nicotine delivery system products currently being marketed to consumers meet our public health standards. So what what did Jules not meet? I would like them to expand on that. FDA Commissioner Robert M. K. 
Califf said in a statement, the agency has dedicated some significant resources to review products from the companies that account for most of the U.S. market. We recognize these make up a significant part of the available products and many have played a disproportionate role in the rise of youth vaping. There we go, youth vaping. Once again, oh, it's marketed to children. I mean, is candy-flavored alcohol going to be banned and all that? That's stupid. And like I said, there's other vape shops out there that people are going to go to. It's just pushing people either back to cigarettes or to other products. This is ridiculous. After hitting the market in the mid-2010s, Juul became the most popular brand of e-cigarettes available, in large part due to its wide variety of flavors, including cream, mango, and mint. Politicians and anti-tobacco advocates have accused the company of using these flavors along with a sleek design resembling a USB flash drive to market vaping to U.S. children and teenagers. Bullshit. More than 2 million American middle and high school students use these cigarettes in 2021. Guess what? If they didn't use e-cigs, they'd probably be using fucking cigarettes or cigars. Just like any teenager, including myself. I smoked cigars before I was 18. Okay, whatever. Just let people do what they want. Freedom. Freedom. With 8 in 10 students saying they use flavored e-cigarettes according to the FDA. Once again, they're going to either use cigarettes or other vape products. What are you going to do about it? You can't do much about it. All All you can do is inform them of the health concerns shouldn't ban them because it's just going to push them to worse alternatives. The 2020 National Youth Tobacco Survey found Juul was the most popular e-cigarette brand used by adolescents with 25.4% of high school e-cigarette users and 35.1% of middle school users saying Juul was their most used brand. Once again, they were most likely going to buy cigarettes anyway. Why not give them a safer alternative? Even though they shouldn't be vaping, they shouldn't be smoking. Why not make it the safest option available? But in America, we don't have common sense like that. It's like, oh yeah, we're just going to make them, you know, push them off of vaping. They're going to go to cigarettes and then they're going to have like cancer, smoke cigarettes. That's fine. No, no. Just many of these problems have deeper layers to them that has to be analyzed and all that you can't just assume oh kids are vaping therefore ban vapes most likely those kids wanted to smoke cigarettes or were peer pressured into it therefore you should raise awareness on why they shouldn't not just ban it nicotine exposure from e-cigarettes can hinder brain development in adolescents and young adults which can continue into the mid-20s according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Like I said, you're supposed to inform them on what happens, not just ban it because they're going to go to worse alternatives. Just one jewel pod contains as much nicotine as a pack of 20 traditional cigarettes, the manufacturer has said. Once again, inform them. The CDC also says e-cigarettes contain heavy metals and cancer-causing chemicals that can damage the lungs. So do cigarettes. What? Jewel did not respond to ABC's news request for comment. Stock and major tobacco firm Altria Group, which holds a 35% stake in Jewel, fell 9% Wednesday morning in response to the news. Parent company Pax launched the e- or Juul e-cigarette in 2015 after success with initial sales. Juul spun out from Pax as a separate company in 2017. In 2018, when Altria acquired its stake in Juul, the e-cigarette company represented 75% of the tobacco vaping market, according to a Wells Fargo analysis of Nielsen data. By 2021, Juul's share of the market had fallen below 50%, the New York Times reported. Juul CEO Kevin Burns stepped down in 2019 as the company faced sharp scrutiny over the health effects and the addictive nature of its products. He was replaced by longtime tobacco executive Casey Crosswhite, who currently leads the firm. In 
2009, Congress gave the FDA authority to regulate the manufacturing, distribution, and marketing of tobacco products. E-cigarette manufacturers, including Juul, were required to submit their products to the FDA to review by September 2020, but were able to sell products while the FDA review was underway. Once again, as we see, this is just taking away your freedom. It has nothing to do with the actual health benefits of it. It is based solely on the marketing to children. In that case, you're supposed to raise your children to know that nicotine and other products of it, like vaping products, are bad for their health. There are other people who use them to actually quit smoking. There are other people who use them just to relax. Why punish that? And that is the same stance. I know I brought up the gun thing earlier with you have to be or you can be 18 to buy a gun. That's the same thing with guns. You should be, I don't care if people own guns, just be trained on them, be respectful of them, be responsible with them. That is something in America we do not do. We just don't have that type of culture here. We don't make sure people are trained properly on how to use them, how to store them. I mean, you take like a few hour class to go get your concealed carry permit. It's the same thing. It's You don't have to punish people that do use those products whenever something happens that is out of their control. Like, I mean, there's measures that you could take that like do impact them but you don't have to fully take away their ability to use those products and that is the one thing that gets under my skin with vaping and jewels and all that is that they say it's marketed to children yet they don't take into consideration that like other people use them other people enjoy those flavors like Theoretically, you could ban every vape product if you really wanted to because you're able to buy like straw juice that's like strawberry, blueberry, dessert flavors. Like what is the reasoning behind it? If you're going to say that you have to ban that, then you also have to ban alcohol that is flavored. It, it's It's a slippery slope. It's taking away your freedoms. And I personally do not support them. And I don't get why they're doing them. Your job as an adult should be to inform the adolescents on their why it's bad. And if they're going to, at least lay out the options and make them as safe as possible for people to use them. It's the same with the drug thing. I don't know why we have a problem with fentanyl. Why are we continuing to have it on the black market? Legalize, tax, and regulate it. Therefore, you are putting a product out on the market that people could use. Why? Because people are still going to go use heroin and stuff. Like, what's the point of it? Yeah, you want it to be safer for people to use. You want to drop those numbers down, but you're not doing yourself any good by taking it off the market. Instead, you need to inform, you need to teach people what their options are, what their alternatives are. And you need to lay those out for people. It's not just a scare tactic. Like, I mean, reefer madness type thing. They tried to scare people away from smoking marijuana, but now you see, like, the medical benefits of it and all that. You see, like, once you put it into the market as a actual, like, consumer product, people buy it. It brings in revenue to your state. And you could use that money towards things. It's just I don't get the reasoning behind banning stuff as they go oh yeah we're against big tobacco and all that it's like because all you're doing with this is you're banning everything and you're pushing people towards big tobacco why because you take money from big tobacco it's like the same thing with uh the january 6th thing i'm i myself i lean left i'm a democrat technically i don't vote democrat or anything because they're all useless but they want to do that whole january 6th hearing about trump and yet they're not going to do anything about it. Say he does everything. They're not going to put him in jail. They're not going to do anything about it. And all they're doing right now is they're doing absolutely nothing and giving Trump the best possible like ability to win uh, the presidential election in 2024. It is complete waste. 
they're not actually doing anything to prevent anything. It's just pushing people to different things, pushing people to be that type of anti-establishment type thing. And you want to talk about that, like growing up as a teenager, you're always that rebel. You're just pushing it away. So people go, oh yeah, vaping's cool, vaping's cool. Once you destroy that narrative of vaping's cool, people will stop. Like once, uh, once you're growing up, you before you're 21. Oh, I want to drink. I want to drink. Then once you hit 21, you kind of dies down on how much you drink, unless you're an alcoholic, because it loses that wow factor to it. Same with cigarettes. It's like you're a teen and all that. Just make it the safest option for them i know they shouldn't vape or they shouldn't smoke but they're probably going to do it anyway and you shouldn't punish others for it it's just that mentality of oh yeah like the best representation of it is the south park episode where they have cal cartman and all them they bring in the oh if you don't smoke you'll be like this and then it um transitions into a scene where they're behind the school smoking cigarettes it, it's they're marketing it wrong to people they're not teaching them the correct way and they're making it just as a rebel factor like oh i'm cool for vaping i'm cool for smoking it's and in the meantime they're punishing those who actually use it for beneficial reasons it's to me it's just nonsense it's completely taking away your freedom to choose your freedom to competition on the market and in all honesty by the end of like once they're done with their vape things i think the only vapes that are probably going to sur- like survive are those that are owned by big tobacco that's what, at least the way it seems is they're just gonna pretty much take down everything until it's big tobacco left and that's not how it should be you should always inform teach and then regulate make sure it's the safest possibility on the market 